This is Minecraft, a blocky, pixelated sandbox game that lets you do anything. You can explore, you can farm, you can build, you can do practically anything you want with your game. If you die, you just respawn, get your stuff, and go back to doing whatever it was you were doing, but not in hardcore. When you die in this mode, that's it, the end. No respawn, no second chance, you're just done. So whatever you leave behind is there forever. I survived 100 days in hardcore Minecraft. I didn't build a mega base. I didn't complete every achievement. I didn't even beat the game. I just played. I punched a tree, saw this gorgeous mountain, got some gear, stole from a child, put on some pants, took this hay, made some bread, beat up a dead guy, literally peed my pants because I fell here, got some iron, imprisoned that kid from earlier, and headed into the mountains. Iron's important, so that's the goal. But being me, I got distracted. Made an iron pick, found some spruce wood and some other stuff like dark oak and mushrooms, the savannah and a badlands nearby, pissed my pants a third time in 30 minutes, and decided it was time to go back home. This is 1.20 still, so villagers aren't nerfed yet, which means I can enslave, I mean exploit, no, that's, that's not much better. Efficiently, they're an easy way to get experience and diamond tools, and if I want to survive more than 100 days, I'll need the best gear I can get without putting myself at risk. On top of that, I also started to clean up the village a little bit, planted a little wheat field, made a little pond, and helped out these cows by making their place just a little bigger. This village is a mess, so I began terraforming a little here and there to help, which also meant replacing some of these path blocks. I gathered some sheep and built them a little enclosure, got some pumpkins and some cherry wood in these petal things, found an outpost, freed this iron golem, got the sentry armor trim, and conquered this outpost. I made a daring escape to nearby ocean where I found a shipwreck that led me to these first diamonds of the world. Nearby was a mangrove swamp, so I grabbed some propagules and found more treasure. After some searching, I finally found jungle wood, which was nice, and some sunflowers, also nice. I made a glorious return on day 15 and got ready for another adventure. Alright, this? is an awful idea. Hey, first time we are not in a basalt delta. Looks like we got ourselves an old fashioned standoff. This is an unfair advantage. Appreciate it if you stopped. Oh, I spy a fortress. Look at that as a blaze spawner. Oh, I am so unprepared for this. Ooh, the heartbeat is picking up. And got it, okay. Is it really even worth it? Should I really even be here? You guys wanna like pathfind over here? Come here. Ooh, okay. That was way, way stupid. That was proper grammar. What am I even looking for here? Do, do I even need anything here? Let's try not to regret this. Ooh. A saddle, that's useful. And some nether wart. Not so tough when you're by yourself now, huh? Ooh, that's a good find. Alright, we're not gonna risk it. I'm gonna play a little safe today. That won't, however, stop us from getting a few more ender pearls if we can. I am very brave. This takes courage. Success. Back from that adventure, it was time to deal with the villagers. I dug out some space for a breeder and decorated it real nice even though I'm sure they don't deserve it. I aged 4 years in the 40 minutes of this clip I cut away. Trust me, I'm doing y'all a favor. I would have purposefully hit these villagers here, so I decided to be careful, and that was that. A magician showed up and then disappeared in a cloud of smoke? It was wild. The villagers drove me a little crazy so I got to terraforming a bit and farming up some sugarcane for trading later. Trades I had with the villagers were going pretty well, I even got some free diamond tools out of it. And I finally had enough leather to make some bookshelves and start enchanting things. Until I realized I had exactly zero lapis and needed to go caving.
With all these goodies in hand, it was time to finally enchant. No. No. Maybe? No. No? Mmm. Well, there goes all my levels. No biggie. I got some free diamond armor from the villagers. Ooh, look at that shine. Get it. Get it. Get it. <clears throat> anyway. Fresh Animations does an incredible job capturing the sass I imagine these villagers truly have. Just, why? I've got it. Take away their free will. That worked like a charm. And they were so happy, they gave me some good books to trade. I think this will go well. Time for some more. I'm done. We're halfway through, and I really haven't done much of anything. And that's not very hardcore of me. So, we're gonna build an iron farm. Wait, that doesn't sound impressive. Two. We're gonna build two iron farms. This is a segue. Segway. Segway. I got carried away. I got in a groove and spent the next 20-ish days trading with villagers, but I got some sick enchants from it. At least now I have a very small likelihood of ending the series before episode one is out. And obviously if you're seeing it now, well, I, I, I won't spoil it for you. I won't spoil it. Speaking of which, it is time to start gathering resources. Channeled my inner mumbo for that one. Now, this is the part where we continue the monologue and I tell you how excited I am about the starter house and how cool it is and how cool I am and how much I don't like the, getting this resource or love collecting that resource, but no, we're not doing any of that. Oh, it's, oh, it's already done. So the house itself is complete, but as you can clearly see, there are no details on it. And it looks great, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of missing something. You see, not only do we not have any details on the outside, but there is no interior whatsoever. And it's currently day 94, so either I speedrun this and get a full interior done in six days, or I gotta find something else to do for that time. And well, I have an inventory full of blocks. So I'm gonna try my best to get this interior done, and then if we don't get it done, well, that's just that, I guess. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we did not make it. You see, that sun is rising on day 99, which is about to turn to day 100, any second now. Oh, and there we go. Day 100, interrupted by a sneaky reaper. Sadly, we did not finish the interior of the house. We got probably 95% of the way complete, but I unfortunately needed some white terracotta and I just, I couldn't get it. So now while I could totally give you guys a tour of the house without its complete interior, I really don't want to do that. But this wouldn't be quite a day 100 movie if I waited to complete the interior and then ended the episode there. So I think in honest fashion, we're just gonna end it here. As always, I hope you all have a very wonderful day.